Alright, hello everybody, and welcome on back to even more Minecraft musings on a Sunday. I'm your host, Jazzy J. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll take some coral though, and uh, actually, let's uh, see if you can repair my shovel. Thank you kindly. But that is why we need to find a village. It's because we need to be able to produce more diamonds. Um, at whim, so uh, we'll keep exploring, and if we can't get it in this episode, then maybe I'll just figure a way to get them from back home, because back at Andarius proper, or old Andarius, um, I do have villagers, I have a whole village, and I do have tons of emeralds too, so I mean, it is only a matter of like going back, you know, working over there and stuff, but I'd like to have localized means of production so there isn't uh, all the costs in transport. I know it sounds silly, but like we've been talking about a lot of ways that we could help out things in the real world, and that's kind of part of it, is like cutting down, well, there's, there's a lot of things that go into it, like, you know, cutting down our beef consumption means less reliance on having cows, cow farms, and all the costs that go into that, which are pretty staggering. I mean, you got to clear a lot of land to feed them, you got to, you know, have them housed, and, yeah, and then all the stuff that they eat, and then... I don't know. And then fast food, like the way that we do serve a lot of our beef is just not very healthy or sustainable anyway and causing a bunch of health problems and, you know, because we've got to have it here and now. Like Gorillas has a really good song about it. And it was like super fast jellyfish and it's like, you know, just how the idea of fast food. Is that a village? That looks like somewhat potentially a structure. I don't really see a lot going on there. We'll venture a little ways past the map, but... That looks like that kind of like water fountain that's like randomly in desert areas, but sometimes there's a village nearby, that kind of thing. Actually, you know what? I'll bet there's one in this like sandy area. Although if we get too far, yeah, th 30 minutes sounds good. We'll do 30 minutes of adventuring, and that is the random thing that's not really indicative of a village, but typically... Ooh, that almost looks like a desert temple. Yep. Yeah, but it's like a little fountain, just in the middle of nowhere, or just like a little well. I mean, and the village or the desert temple is cool, mind you. It is cool, but oh. And also, this might be one that has archaeology, which is a new newer edition. It's in one of the recent versions where you can actually, and that looks kind of like it, how the walls look a little different, like there's a pattern. But if you... Oh, what is it? Looks like I dug stairs out. This doesn't look like the one. Because usually it has sand in this area. And this looks like it was normal probably a pressure plate actually let's go see what's down here and gather this stuff oh no we don't have any room oh take that huh, iron horse armor I'll take it. <laughs> Alright. Yep, I've clearly been here before. And so, and like I said, worst case, we could just get villagers from back home, from Andarius proper, because I was even thinking of a way, like, if we put uh, subterranean tracks, let's keep going south, though, kind of like, keep head, head on the swivel. Our head on the swivel. There you go. So... Okay, there we go. Never mind. So there's a village. Now, hmm. I think I need a bucket. <laughs> I mean, I have a boat. We're we're going to we're going to entrap a villager in the boat. We got to do this twice now. So, let's see if we can do this in 30 minutes. Oh, I feel like there's a railway underneath, but that's not going to 
most likely not going to last the whole way. Where did it go? What in the world? Alright, technical difficulties. What in the world? Okay. No, not the camel. There we go. There we go. Okay. And away we go. That's easy as one, two, three, kidnapping a villager. I don't know where those other boats went. They glitched out, but that's okay. And it's a bit of a slow process. We could try to go into the water and maybe cut down some time, but that's why I was thinking the boat would be nice. Because, uh, yeah, that's going to be kind of painful. There we go. <laughs> Nothing to see here, just kidnapping a villager. So, do to do to do. No, I mean they're gonna have a nice house. We'll build them something fun and something logical. And I mean, usually I just build like a hotel style, open air, kind of like bunks. I don't know, like summer camp style. It depends. So, actually, we might be able to make it most of the way without too much trouble. I say that as we come up across our first obstacle. There we go. Okay, out of here. Widen it up a little bit. Nice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <sighs> okay. Kind of remember where we were. We were in that big, like, water area. So, just trying to think of, like, how easy is it going to be to get lost. No, I think we're going to go up and over. And sail on through the night. It's pretty peaceful. Like you got the nice sunset. It'd be cool if they'd do like the flash of green. Let's see, it looks kind of greenish. Come on. Uh -oh. oh, that looks like a tall spire. I might get a little tricky through here, so let's try to go. I think I see a real tight pinch point that'll get us into the greater, like, channel area. <laughs> huh, indeed, villager friend. Oh, there's some coal. I mean, we are full up. We got plenty of dirt. We're going to make that melon factory going. And, of course, I've been watching some more Breaking Bad, and it's just... Uh, the social engineering of it, like the the drama, the humanity, the the sociology of it. I mean, because at the end of the day, all people groups are made of people. And it's just interesting to see, like, what choices, what decisions could lead to something so, I don't know, out there. And of course, I know it's fictional, but at the same time, like, there's a lot crazier things going on out there, and like, that's really not all that b amazing. Uh oh, let's see. This is 
going to be a little bit slow moving, I believe. But maybe we can get a bucket if we remember. <laughs> By we, I mean me. If I remember, I'll try to grab a bucket when we get back to the base. I mean, this isn't that bad. I mean, we're already almost to the water again, so... As soon as we break through, it's going to come through a little bit. There we go. And we're home free. So, again, I might widen this up a little bit. And onward home. To your new home, villager. I shall build you a nice fancy house. With lots of fancy bells and whistles. And it's funny because I'm still doing the work of harvesting the pumpkins and bringing to them, <laughs> to them to trade, but that's okay. I'm also taking all the emeralds and the experience, and there's a lot of gains from that trade. Uh huh. And really, what we should do is connect all of this area with water channels. Now that I think about it. Yep. Look, we got spruce, we got cherry, we got. All sorts of trees. I mean, for now, I guess he can just live in the... Oh, wait, no, we gotta... Hmm. Huh. Alright, for now, we're gonna have him over here. Build the first house here. But I will literally give you my bed. Oh, I left the... Okay. Un segundo. Yes, huh, indeed. some wood, gonna build them a nice log cabin, gonna make it out of spruce because we have plenty of it. We can make some planks, make a whole little portable area because I was about to let him use even the, my bed in the main area, but, um, and I think that'd be a really cool place to live except for there's holes in the floor and I feel like he would get trapped down low and I don't really want to deal with all that. So rather than baby proofing or villager proofing my entire base or the oasis base, I'm just gonna build him a nice little or her or them a nice little cabin here. Huh. They're just going to chill in the boat. We'll just pretend they're taking a nap. Okay, and let's actually get rid of that, that. Well, that's decaying. Uh -huh. And there, and... Um, there we go. Let's get all this stuff out. So now we can focus on that.
we'll make it classy. I actually put all wood planks in instead of hide the dirt. <laughs> I feel kind of like playing The Sims, doing all this and making like basically some home design. Actually, I just realized we could have made this into slabs, <laughs> and we should. I mean, at least to do like a kind of dock area. And I still need a little bit more for wood. Okay, yeah. Oh well. There you go. And what kind of job block can I make for him? Actually, now that I think about it. Um, yes, composter. You'll be a farmer here. Enjoy your new life. Alright. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going far. I'm going to cut down another tree and keep building the cabin. And then I'll go get another one, a companion. And then they'll have a nice little cozy home. And they'll be the first. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Is it morning? Okay. Oh, whoops. There we go. That's why I love spruce trees for harvesting wood. They're just very simple, straight up and down. Jungle trees are close second, but uh, just because of like how much wood you can get from them, but you have to deal with like the side ones. And if you're waiting for the, sp the saplings to fall, I mean, it could take a while and maybe forever too. If you miss a couple of blocks or logs in there, <coughs> then you might not realize it. All right, let's kind of hurry up and finish this though, because then can go get the other one. We need another bed. I noticed we had the option of... Didn't we? Oh, maybe that was purple dye with the other bed. Okay. Um, okay. coming out a couple. Oh shoot. <laughs> nice. There we go. So, 
Oh no, I messed it up. No. Of course, we don't have any dirt. Let's put it all in here. Even if we are going to do that, it would be better with planks, but for now... Okay, there's the doors there. Actually, it's perfect. Huh. Okay. We need glass. So we need rock. We need... We are close to the base, or we could dig down, but... Let's just go get some rocks. We can also plant that spruce tree and keep it going. That's the other cool thing about spruce trees versus jungle trees. You get a ton of saplings. Like, look at all that. We don't even have to worry about getting more to grow more. But with jungle trees, if you're not being careful, like, you almost don't get enough to grow another 2x2. Two two. Like, yeah, it's bad. But now we have 28, so we could even recycle some of these into some bone meal. All right. I suppose we could just grab glass. I'm pretty sure we have some glass over here. But, in fact, where? Oh, where? We have a little bit of glass. Now, we also have purple dye, um, which is cool. Ooh, this dye. I like that. Let's do some of that. I mean, I like the purple too. Actually, yeah, let's make the purple as well. Let's make 64 of each. Okay. Now. <laughs> I like it. It's just a random, like, stick house. But it'll be functional. And it'll be even, like, modernized looking. this, uh, you're able to stretch it a lot further. See, so, yeah, that's definitely a lot better. Okay.
There we go. Path blocks. There. Huh. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of spending a lot of time doing this. So I think I'm going to slow up. We've got a house for him. There's no roof, so to speak, so maybe we can finish that real quick, but other than that, like, I think we're good. We'll go get the other villager, we'll feed them, we'll get jobs, and then we'll start trading them, trading with them. Oops, no. That's not what I wanted. That's what I was trying not to do. Oh no! What is that? Okay. I mean, it's all about functionality for now. We can get fancy with it later, but for now, we have a nice little home for the new villagers. Sleep tight, and oh, I need another bed. Let's see. Maybe I'll leave the horse armor, the glass. Let's go get you a friend. All right, now where? There we go. Oops. <laughs> All right, and away we go. Go kidnap us another villager. Alright. This is actually a lot quicker than I thought was going to happen. I mean, or yeah, we're almost at the 30 minutes now, but like finding a village, getting a villager in there, we built a house. It was pretty productive. Not very educational, but you know what? You can only muse for so much in one day. And then you gotta kind of relax. Go do some basic Minecraft nonsense. I'm trying to remember where we went. There, yeah, this looks right. And away we go. And now I'm trying to backtrack. This is going to be interesting. Oh, I know we got to kind of cut left or cut up a little bit. There was some gold. Actually, you know what? Let's get the gold and then... We'll probably call it an episode because it's getting close. Yep, there's the alarm. And away we go. Okay. Yeah, there's more gold in Badlands. I remember seeing that somewhere. I want to say on here, like Minecraft hints. 
Okay, so there's some gold. I see some lapis. That's kind of neat. So we'll get that because we are building an enchanting table soon. So lapis is definitely welcome. Oh, whole stack of lapis and then some. All right, well, ta-ta, everybody. I will see you in the next one.